Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Marsh Parker. I mean Fuego here. Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Marsh Parker. I mean Fuego here. Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Marsh Parker. I mean Fuego here. Wait, what the f Didn't we just do I that? I feel like we've done this before. Uh oh. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to the horror show. For real this time, I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Marsh Parker. Is this true life? <laughs> <laughs> that's well, I mean, for you. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Guys, we are here to talk appropriately about Happy Death Day to You. We got to see an advanced screening tonight. We just got out of it about five days, or well, I guess technically four days before everyone else now. Uh, our advanced screenings are getting less and less by the day, considering how quickly these movies are coming out now. Yeah. yeah. But we are going to do this review like we normally do our reviews. We'll talk about our overall thoughts. We'll talk about the story, the acting, the effects, all of that good stuff in turn. And just for a bit of a preface, so you know where we stand, because, of course, this is a sequel to 2017's Happy Death Day, mm -hmm. correct? Correct, October 2017. Uh, got it right here, so of course. So they cranked it up with the quickness. A year and a half later, we have a sequel. Uh, and this is very much... The Back to the Future of they horror talk about sequels it in the movie. Literally, yeah. they do. But I mean, what right I mean by that. that is, it's it's in line with a lot of horror movies in the past, where it picks up literally right where the last one last one left off, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is nice. So um, our overall thoughts, real quick. Well, well no, um, on the first one, I rewatched the first one about a half hour before going to see this one, and I am supremely glad I did because there were a lot of little tie-ins that you in fact could have missed, little character motivations that you probably forgot, little things like that, even characters that pop up that you're like, oh, I didn't expect that, you know? So it, mm -hmm. I, I recommend doing that, and my thoughts on the first one were, are, are I really enjoyed that. Going into this one, I really enjoyed the first one. So Marsha, where were you going into this one? Um, I wasn't a big fan of the first one, and we were trying to like find out why, because it wasn't really, anything particular, but I really think um, it felt really long and a lot of the punchlines didn't really hit for me and um, it felt like they, they restarted a lot. So it, I went into it going, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and it's been done before and it's been done really successfully. Um, like we said, like Supernatural and things like that. But um, but yeah, I was I re it had a really low bar, so I didn't know what to expect going into it. Fuego, your thoughts on the first one? I uh, just rewatched it last night, and I liked it even better than the first time that I watched it. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's a fun movie, man. It mm -hmm. just makes me happy, and I, it's got a terrific performance mm -hmm. by by the lead girl as Tree. And I actually think the uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Jason London, Jeremy London lookalike, whoever the hell he is. I think that kid's good too. And it's got, I mean, it's it's well written. Scott uh, Scott Lobdell, the comic book writer, I thought his script was terrific it's crazy to me how it took 10 years to get made but uh yeah on a four four something million dollar budget it made like 125 million so of course they're gonna fast track the fuck out of getting this film out and mm -hmm. uh yeah here we are <laughs> so let's get into this one now we'll do our mm -hmm. overall thoughts on this one i will say that while i enjoyed the balls the movie had to do whatever it wanted to do I appreciated the first one more than this one. This one was entertaining, but it, I don't think it was at as tightly scripted as the first one. Different scripter. Different scripter, of course, mm -hmm. um, and I think it shows. Uh, I, I've never, I, I, I have Scott Lobdell comics, but I've never been the hugest fan. He got better as he went along in recent years when he was doing work with, um, I think it was Kenneth Rockefeller mm -hmm. as was his artist, but. Um, this movie just wasn't quite as tight. There were a few more like, what? With the writing in this one than there were in the first one. The first one I think explained itself a little bit better. This one was I think almost to a degree purposefully convoluted. It was fun. It had even sort of less horror than the first one did. That was, it, this was, it was leaned on even less. Um, this was kind of more in the sci-fi realm, but I still had fun with the movie. I didn't enjoy it as much as the first one, but I still had fun with it. Uh, Marsha, your thoughts? I actually loved it a lot more. Okay. <laughs> like, I had a lot more fun. I thought it, the the comedy was a lot better, and I love how it made fun of itself, and how, like you said, it was very ballsy, and they just, like, they did whatever they wanted to do, they said whatever they wanted to do, and they had fun with it, 
and it felt like the, even the actors um, and the actresses had a lot of fun doing it, and they really enjoyed the, the franchise, and it really showed in this one. Um, I don't know. The other one, it just, it just was really dry to me, and it didn't, like, really catch, but on this one, I felt like I felt entertained. I was laughing. I was having fun. I was enjoying myself. The other one felt like a chore to watch. So who knows? Maybe like it's it is the the difference of writers. Like this one, I related to a lot more than I did to the other one. But you're right. There was a lot less like horror to it. Um, way less. <laughs> way less horror to it. And uh, maybe that's why you just got to just enjoy the comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Fuego. This was a very different film, in my opinion very different and uh it was it was very much of, of the sequel mentality it was it was bigger it was flashier they had double the budget it was funnier at times it was way stupider at times oh, yeah. and the thing that it, it, it took a little while to find its footing but something that happens like uh, early on it's a much more dramatic film yes which is the I know one thing talking. i really appreciated about this that i did not expect so i i wouldn't say i loved it I liked it in some aspects better than the first one, and then in other aspects I thought it was just too dumb with some of its explanations, but as a whole I was really entertained by this movie. So I do want to dive into something in particular when we get to the acting. The, the lead actress, Jessica Roth, um, is, is just something to talk about for sure, so we'll yeah. get to that. But the story, you know, in case it hasn't been clear by the trailers, this movie um, starts off again, like I said, right where the last one left off, except now the guy that kept busting in going, yo, did you hit that really sweet veg or whatever in the first <laughs> in the first movie? Um, he's the one that has the day resetting. And then um, he comes in literally when they're about to make out from the end of the first movie, as he does in the end of the first movie, and it starts from there. And of course, our main character, Tree, knows what's going on. By the way, the weirdest name for a lead character in movie history, in my it's opinion. It's short for Teresa, as we find out at one is point. Is that what it is? Because I still didn't pick up on it, but yeah, it was father calls totally, Teresa. like, distractingly weird. But, yeah. uh, but nonetheless, so she realizes, oh, your day is resetting, and so she tries to help. And then what we do find out, um, again, without traipsing into spoiler territory, is that it turns out, this. The, there were a few shots in the trailer of this, I know, mm -hmm. Turns out that this kid is actually part of a big, you know, a, of a science group in this college, and they have developed this sort of technology that is futzing with things and is tied in with what is going on. Mm -hmm. um, we find that out, and then it becomes this whole group's mission to, you know, fully figure it out and stop it, change it, change it back, whatever it ends up being, because I don't want to reveal too much, yeah. but they all work together to try and make this happen. Um, but there are some interesting things that happen along the way as a result of where this story spins off to, which to me, I felt was like, this is where I thought it was ballsy. I was like, really, they're going this direction? Um, the one that Fuego you know, uh, said was in some of the promo materials. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any, so I just want to make sure that it's not a spoiler. We'll talk fully about it in a separate spoiler review. But, yeah, they do something that is part of the actual plot of this film that was interesting to me, especially interesting to me as a comic book fan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it also allowed people to flex different acting muscles, which is something I really liked. Mm -hmm. So that is the long and short of it. They have to figure out the mystery and stop the day resetting. Um, and, and again, that's as much as we can go into. So yeah. mm -hmm. I will say that I did enjoy, again, once I just kind of gave in to the kind of conveniences, kind of weirdness, kind of stupid plot of this movie. And there's some plot holes. <laughs> there are some plot holes. Once I kind of just gave over to it, I ended up just having more fun. At first I was like, why are they going this far out? For even as far out as they were in the first movie, they take it a few steps further in this one. Or in the first movie, they take it a few steps further in this one. And it just didn't fully work for me at first. But again, once I gave over to it, I just kind of let it wash over me and I ended up having fun. Mm -hmm. So um, overall, the story, while surprising the way they approached it, and while I didn't appreciate it as much as the tightness of the first one, I still enjoyed it for what it was. Hmm. I liked the story. I thought it was, it was just, it was fun. And I think that's the kind of, I didn't go into the movie. I know this is part of our job is to dissect in all of this stuff about a review in a movie, but I just wanted to have fun with it and let it, 
let it enjoy the experience and see what it was meant to how it was meant to be enjoyed and and literally if you just go in there and just like all right let's have it let's see what their next explanation is because when i when i first saw the trailers i was like are you kidding me i have to do this again i felt like her felt like, like her. seriously i already watched this movie i have to watch this again and and I was like, you know what? I got, yeah. I got, I got the tickets. I'm gonna go, and and I'm glad I did because I I did enjoy it. And the weird thing is, is like I really don't like the killer part of it. I think the I think that's maybe. You think the, that's the weakest part? I feel like the <laughs> killing funny. part of it is the weakest part. Like which her, they back off on in this one. Yeah, right. Say, yeah. No, <laughs> and and I think that I think you know, and I every time I think about the first one, I really think that is my biggest issue with the first movie was that I just didn't buy the whole killer aspect. I felt like it was something they threw in there to make it to be horror, and when the real story is about the looping, and then. Um, of her, re you know, the mm -hmm. Groundhog Day, and so I feel like that's what it was, the disconnect, and I still felt it in this movie, because I'm like, I don't give a crap about the killer. You know, like, I think it's cool watching her die, um, and doing all those cool interactions, and just, like, reliving it, and just the humor that comes out of it, mm -hmm. but, uh, I feel like that whole, like, the killer part of it could have been stronger, and I think I would have enjoyed both movies a lot more. Okay. So that's where I'm coming from. It. I gotcha. Fuego. Interesting. Well, I mean, since Cecil basically gave as much of the of the synopsis as we can really mention without spoiling things, I um there's a very un PC term about going full retard that uh, yeah. my my guitar player uses all the time in my band and. This movie really went for it, I gotta say, and it's much more a science fiction comedy than it is a horror comedy. Mm -hmm. Totally. I mean, I was joking with the both of them before this started. I was like, no, nah, it's not really a horror movie, and Cecil contended that it was with. It's I just see, yeah, the first comedic. one I think is still a horror comedy. Yeah, this sure. one this really one veers away, man. Big time, big time. The, the element so, is still there, yeah. but it's it's so it's downplayed. Gonna, it's like a, it takes the back seat. Like, it, it's a, big yeah, time. Yeah. I downplayed yeah. back seat yeah. afterthought. Like yeah, same yeah. thing, three different ways. But <laughs> but the the one thing that I will say, this one was actually scripted by the director of the film as opposed mm -hmm. to Lobdell. The director of the first one? Yes. Yeah, the same guy directed the and first he directed film. this one yes and okay. he, he wrote and directed so he basically so took he's all the, it's nice he though because he's attached to the material one. yeah, yeah. So he, he does, had an idea you know. after the first one for where he could go with a sequel and the one thing that I will say about how he wrote this film is he took those characters from the first movie and I felt like he fleshed them out in a much more interesting fashion because yeah. we see pretty mm -hmm. much everybody from the first movie in this whether and it's the roommate whether it's the, mm -hmm. the, the bitchy sorority sister everybody is made so much more interesting and they're they're less one note the first film is really just fun fluff and this felt like a more varied interesting film doesn't always land but let I me mean, cut you off just for a second no, no, and i good. want you to continue but no. to piggyback on what you're saying it was really interesting because there were characters that didn't even interact in the first one mm -hmm. that now interact in this one yeah and it's really interesting to see how and why and, yeah. and how they play off each other and you're like wait a minute what like, the yeah. movie still keeps you a little bit off balance <laughs> with the way this... Again, there's still a huge, huge, huge thing. We're not telling you about the story. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a reason for that. Spoiler but it allows for a lot of storytelling leniency within yeah. this movie. But please yeah. continue with your thoughts. Yeah, and I, I, I must admit, I, even though they kind of took a backseat as well, they had a couple new characters that I thought were fun and interesting. You know, the, mm -hmm. the rest of this, like, science club of sorts. Although and, one, one is... Very... Tell me, tell me that the, the short... Curly haired girl isn't girl. exactly the same as the character from um, the Sabrina show. The little tomboyish oh, yeah, girl, yeah, yeah, like exactly me, yeah. the same. Sorry, is that the yeah. one who gets bullied by the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Lou told me about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, but but yeah, long long story short, I mean it's it's a little too silly at times, so not every bit of humor lands. No but such I think, sir. <laughs> <laughs> not but, in this movie. And, and there's also that they they recreate certain like there's. There's a montage in this movie, just like we had a montage, montage. in the last movie. Gotta have a montage! Montage! montage. You gotta have a montage. It's Groundhog's Day for crying out loud. True, yeah. True. So, I mean, they, they did have some of the same beats, but they take them, and they, they take the back... They, he said in the promotional material, I guess this is the best way I can describe it without spoiling stuff, he said this is truly the Back to the Future 2 you know, a, approach. Mm -hmm. And if you're familiar with Back to the Future 2 and where they go back to 1985, mm -hmm. it's about all we can say you've seen Back to the Future 2, you know, and I really appreciated 
how it was how it was approached. I, I thought it was pretty cool. And one of the things I want to mention, you, I was worried that a lot of the gags that they showed us in the trailer were going to be the same exact gags. A couple were, yeah. but there was one that I was like, they showed us the entire gag. There's no more to this. But there was more to one gag that they showed in the trailer that was a slow motion shot that was hilarious to me. It reminded me of the Quicksilver bit saying the uh, X-Men movie. Are we talking about, oh, okay. Well, are we talking yeah. about the same thing, yeah. I'm assuming? I mean, there's so. only one yeah. thing It involved a park about. bench? Yeah. yeah. There's Tangentially? Only, okay. There's only one thing. Yeah, okay, about. okay, yeah. cool. And that was hilarious. It was um, priceless. I think that was like one of the first times I guffawed. I was like, ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm thinking of a different part right now. I know oh, the one that you know what I'm talking about. Right? I do, yeah. I do. Yeah, it was so funny. Yeah, it was hilarious. Um, and I was like, this is so like that moment they slowed it down enough to let you think this is so stupid but it's really funny yeah. yeah like that's literally what i thought when i was watching that particular moment i was like this is so dumb but it is hilarious and in a lot of ways that epitomizes the approach of it this really film. does <laughs> literally that one frame you could steal that and be like this is what this movie is yeah <laughs> so every time we were talking about back to the future mm -hmm. now it makes me want to, them to do a third one where they go to the west like she gets, <laughs> and I can't so say there won't be the why stupid I would baby think mascot. That, but we can talk about it in our spoilers. Yeah, we'll we'll get yeah. to that. So, um, okay, so let's talk about the acting. And I have to say, Jessica Roth, Roth right? I just looked at her name. Um, she does a phenomenal yeah. job. I thought she did great in the first one. There was only really one scene where she got to stretch as an actress, which was with her father, and there were at least two. Where she really stretched, and one, I, one she, in particular. she drew tears out of me twice in this movie. Yeah. Twice in this movie, and both of those times were, you know, within reason, and it was because I could associate with stuff in my own right. life, where right. I'm like, oh my god, like the sort of wish fulfillment that you get in certain certain moments in this movie, yeah. and she carries it so strong as an actress. Mm, like shit. I bought every single second. And 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 even in the trailer reaction I love that that moment where she's like got this um you know FML shirt on yeah. and she's just like you know a big smile. Yeah. Like it's so funny. She just she really knocked it out of the park yeah. for me. She's terrific. Yeah. I I don't know if I really thought she stood out in the last movie cuz it didn't like there was nothing in the last movie that really made me go I like her. Um, she but this out very one, unlikable. <laughs> but this one, I really dug her. I I really liked the different range that she has and what she was able to project on screen because it is a difficult role. You're mm -hmm. you're you're being serious. You're being com uh, comedic. You're being terrified. You're being, you know, the heroine. And then you're also reaching into the depth of who you are to pull out the best you. So. I thought she did a fantastic job. It was a, definitely a difficult role and one that people should not take lightly and she should definitely be recognized for it. Yeah, she was terrific. She she legit wowed me. I, I hate to say like she was a delight and you know, be like one of those reviewers, but she genuinely was because she's beautiful but she or she has chops, dude. Like she can be so funny and so snarky and so and then just bring a tear to your eye. Mm -hmm. You know, that's very multifaceted and very impressive, mm -hmm. and I felt like all the supporting players, they they, they all up their game as well. They I all had more the boy, I, I really like that guy. His I goofy too. smile I, just yeah. gets me every time. He's he's a charming dude. You can see why she follows. I think she like overshadowed everyone. I, like, oh yeah, oh, I yeah, mean, of course. For yeah. Sure, like, I mean. yeah, I think there were people that stood up a little bit more, and like the boyfriend did a little bit more, but still, it wasn't enough that like. Really, be no enough. one out. No one got close to her. No, no. they but, but did they... crank up the the screen time for the stupid, bitchy, uh, you know, sorority sister. And they but that had actually some works out. Cheese bits with her that made me chuckle. It man. was funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and then one, the, <laughs> a couple of the new actors were a little cheesy. Again, the one that I think is the exact same as the Sabrina character. Mm -hmm. And then there was. You know the, the sex craze, the uh, sex craze Indian <laughs> smart kid that's sort of doofy. You know, yeah. um, so some of those characters didn't quite land for me. But I thought the roommate was m much better. He yeah. did, yeah. He, he was, he was but again, he kind of ended up taking a backseat once it became yeah, Tree's movie once again. Once it shifted yeah. back to Tree. Yeah. Um, but you know, it was fun to see how that was going to happen. I was worried it was going to happen like right away, but they they yeah, actually they let the story play it out mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So the rest of the acting is good too. We and and we literally get a return. 
of of everyone mm -hmm. from from all the people that she walks by in the beginning to the the roommate mm -hmm. to the uh, the the pseudo love interest teacher character like yeah. everything is hospital. back the killer in the hospital the cop in the hospital Everybody. yeah the cop in the hospital had a much bigger role this time like it, yeah. it it was it, it was the really interesting. Was yeah, the, oh, the throwback <laughs> to the gay guy, like that was so funny yes. and so like there was a lot of. Here's the funny thing, this movie not only continues the story, but it also kind of acts as a real satisfying epilogue for the mm -hmm. first like 10, 15 minutes, yeah. Yeah. where you're just like, oh, everything's good after what Tree did in the first movie before everything goes to shit again. Yeah. Yeah. Like it was really fun to see that. Honestly, yeah. not a lot of movies. Especially horror movie sequels focus on that for any given amount of time, let alone yeah. 10, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So so I enjoyed that. Um, any other acting thoughts before we move into effects or anything like that? Mm -hmm. We covered most of okay. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about the effects. Again, this movie, um, the, the first movie wasn't, I mean, this is PG-13, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So both of, the, both of them are. Very much so, again, light on the horror elements. And the horror elements you get are very pg 13 horror elements, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, stabbings, not a lot of gore, things like that, but um, I don't know, overall, I mean, there was some digital light effects to a particular thing that we saw a bunch of times, but outside of that, they don't really lean on it. It's really more of a storytelling movie, right. and yeah. I think it works to the benefit of the movie as a result. Yeah, I think there there was blood where there needed to be blood, and and you know there you know i guess this was really as as it can get like when it got a little scientific -y, you got the the stuff for that too but mm -hmm. it was it wasn't Where they enough. Used a little digital for that, obviously. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't yeah. like it wasn't enough to like be like, oh my god, there's a CG creature and it like did the thing and yeah, it wasn't enough. There's, there's a it's couple moments radical. where it looks a little more slick, though, like the slow motion scene that reminded me of the two Quicksilver bits in the right. two X-Men movies uh, that happens early on. I felt that was... I'm like, okay, this is them stretching their budget a little bit more. Um, a couple of the tree killing herself bits are... or dying, I guess I should say. Well, shit, should I no. not say? Yeah, cut that out. Okay. Oh, no, no. Is she her yeah. dying? Well, 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 because I said her killing herself. Committing suicide. Well, yeah. she does that in the other well, I guess she jumps out of the plane in the trailer. So yeah, that's yeah, fine, yeah. Okay. We'll take a pause anyway, but okay. I think you're fine. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, and like a few of the scenes where she's dying. Wait, wait, you sorry, know. take a little bit of a longer pause okay, just no, for my fine. editing purposes. Yeah, yeah. She's always, we'll do like a three count. Okay. <laughs> like in the Wayne's World oh. Dale. <laughs> Yeah, and a few of the bits where she's, you know, as we see in the trailer, jumping out of planes and all this other stuff uh, in the montage of death. Uh, there, I don't know. I guess some of the some of the death bits were a little. Bit, there, there's one where she she runs and that was that hilarious. Was great, and there's well, another one. I looked was, away for a second. I was, <laughs> I was like, like, but I was like, I can't. she's starting to feel the pain afterwards, that yeah. doesn't seem like a smart idea. That was same with the like, grocery store bit. I and mean, yeah. she woke up. She's like, oh, oh. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Well, I was like, why would you do that to yourself? Just. <laughs> I would never. That's like a oh, fear the, of mine. Like this, the 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 first one I mentioned. Which one? I'm so curious. <laughs> the grocery store. The grocery or the other one? Well, both yeah. of them terrify me. Okay, oh, the the, the the previous one though was making me think of that Silent Night remake. Well, uh, it's okay. Don't get too yeah. Because I was gonna I was gonna mention another movie. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get off track. Stay on target. Yeah. Stay on target. Stay on target. So so yeah. I mean, there there was a few points where you could tell the budget was heightened a little bit, but it 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 didn't feel out of place. It didn't feel like they went for glitz, glamour, boom. Bam, whatever they they kept to the spirit visually of the first yeah. One. I, f I feel like the the real winners is obviously the acting and the cinematography and the sound design. I mean, I, don't I know agree. Was, sound design was sound good. Design. I yeah. agree with you. So it's a good good segue, I mm -hmm. guess. Right? Yeah. 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 So what did you like about the sound design? What I mean, was... I mean, it was just like it flowed and yeah. everything. Like because you're not getting a lot of that gore and you're getting it with the sound effects. So. Mm -hmm. So you just it helps you get use your imagination. Oh, because it's off camera stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, a lot of I got off you. camera I got you. stuff. I so you. you're yeah. like, oh, I feel you. I know what that is. That's yeah. how they yeah. conveyed yeah. the carnage was more so through yeah. sound. Yeah, that's true. Which, yeah. which makes it more that's entertaining. True. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah. yeah, and that's how they can get past the censors too. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was funny because there was a couple times, especially one point in the third act, kind of near the end of the movie, where they mm -hmm. had like a little sound cue that reminded me of the Back to the Future, like the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, that was delivering. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so cinematography wise, I mean, that was, it's all pretty standard. It's, yeah. it's funny. There's, there's some gags that are framed up a particular way. Yeah. Maybe an extra drone shot or two. But really yeah. Not but I mean, uh, nothing really to write home about. I mean, the movie was just fun. It's nothing that's going to be like a plus material. Mm -hmm. I doubt it's going to make any best of lists, I but I doubt mine. it's going to make any worst of lists. It, well, no, that's sure. not true. I'll bet you there'll be some people that are like, I hated this movie. I can't believe they went, they took the garbage that was the first one and they took it even farther. I'm mm -hmm. sure there's going to be some of that. I yeah, enjoyed maybe. it. But I, I think this is nowhere near the bottom of the list. I think The Prodigy was 10 times worse yeah. so far Oof. this year. Yeah. There's a lot of good stuff coming out, but um, I really felt entertained watching this movie and that's really what I'm looking for. These days i'm like please just entertain me please don't put me to sleep yeah and you were worried about that too i was yeah. i was like i feel like i'm going to sleep because the first one i was so like i can't get into this movie I'm, I'm a little bit genuinely surprised that you enjoyed this because it just feels like it was the silliness of the first one turned up but i guess you were okay i with like that. silliness yeah. i guess like for that, that that's a sequel I, approach right like, i mean crank well, it up through them well like and like i said before i felt in the first one that the horror was kind of just thrown in there as an afterthought and it was even more so in this one and I just like enjoyed the actual writing and the characters okay. and the acting and everything that's going through I mean and the death is a lot of fun and I, who doesn't like watching somebody die over and over and over again <laughs> in fun and interesting ways yeah <laughs> yeah I, I, I wouldn't personally say that it's better than the first one but I, I mean this would be an Awesome, just back to back watch. Oh, it's in, perfect. In, in my opinion, very it's, much. It's so. literally set aside three hours. Yeah. Because this one's short mm -hmm. for sure. This yeah, one was an hour like and a half. Yeah. 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 A rainy minutes, Sunday yeah. day, you just kind of hang it on the couch, watch it back to back. It's yeah. fun. It had yeah, a lot of fun. humor and it had way more heart than I expected. And well, that was heart. really the thing that I have to double down I on. I couldn't believe I had to wipe it, my face twice. I was like, God yeah. damn it. And, and which, which, the, which is the thing, the last one. <laughs> so film, emotional. I get that way. But man, well, well when it comes well, to parent stuff, it. yeah. 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 Yeah, and the last film touched yeah. on it just a little bit, but this one really went for it. Mm -hmm. And I was impressed with the results in that, in that regard more so. Yeah. Show me parent stuff and show me cat stuff. Mm -hmm. And you'll get me every single time, so. Mm -hmm. um, all right, guys, well, I think that's a good place to call yeah. this. If you want to support the channel directly, you can click the link in the description box for our Patreon. You can actually choose movies for us to review, uh, do uh, commentaries, things beyond that, depending on the tier that you select. If you can't or just don't want to support the channel monetarily like that, you can always support the channel just by liking this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. We do have the spoiler review coming up right afterwards, so either watch it if you don't care or wait until after the movie and then come join the spoiler discussion then. But for now, that's going to do it for our review of Happy Death Day to you. I've been Cecil Laird. I'm Marshmallow. Gracias, I mean, fuego. And remember, stay scared. Stay scared.